So here we have a 56 year old male who was shoveling snow in front of his house in the Midwest. If you don't know, the Midwest in the United States is very cold in the winter. When he suddenly developed cyanosis of fingertips and nose. He was taken to the emergency department on physical exam. There is jaundice, splenomegaly, acrocyanosis. Review of his records revealed history of mycoplasma infection as well as Waldenstorm. Waldenstrom macroglobulinemia. So, where is the problem here? Acrocyanosis after shoveling snow. Okay, could be maybe frostbite, just reaction to the cold, but there is jaundice, splenomegaly, history of mycoplasma infection, and Waldenstrom macroglobulinemia, all pointing to IgM. When you have splenomegaly jaundice, this is hemolysis. Okay, so now you have hemolysis due to IgM autoantibody. Exposure to cold, this is what? This is cold agglutinin disease or cold immune hemolytic anemia. What's the best diagnostic test? Bone marrow biopsy, indirect Coombs or direct Coombs? And the answer is direct Coombs test. Next, what's the next best step in management? Prednisone? No, we don't use steroids in the cold subtype. Keep the patient warm or splenectomy? Again, splenectomy is contraindicated, so the answer is keep the patient warm. Let's go to the first question for a second. Why direct? Why not indirect? The answer is direct Coombs test will detect the antibody on the surface of the red blood cell. In this case, it's the IgM. Okay, also direct Coombs test can detect the complement on the surface of the red blood cell. Indirect Coombs test, on the other hand, detects antibodies in the plasma or in the serum. Okay, so direct on the surface of the red blood cells and direct in the serum. We are looking for IgM or the complement on the red blood cell, so we use the direct Coombs test. 